Welcome back to the Finca. Um, little additional video. Um, those of you who follow our videos know I was servicing the car um, the other day and it came to tighten up the sump nut. Um, it, it stripped the thread. This one here. Um, this should be 34.3 newton meters. It got up to 22 newton meters and the thread popped, indicating possibly that it had been abused in the past, over time in the past. Um, so we thought we'd do a little video, an extra video, um, basically to make it easy to find if anyone's interested in doing a similar repair to a damaged thread, um, to show you pretty much how to do it, or how we do it anyway. Um, this is, this is a say for a sump plug, an oil drain plug um, for a car. There are many other scenarios, but in this is the case. This is what we got. This is stripped. Um, we did a slight bodge on it, but now we're going to fix it properly. I'm going to fix it um, with what's called a helicoil thread insert. Um, basically, this is a kit you can get, um, and what it does, it actually puts physically puts a new thread, um, the same size as your original thread, um, into the hole. What you get with it, say, I mean, I'm going to do an M12 by 1.75 is the size that I need, which is the very end one here, the largest one. You get a drill to drill out your existing um, chewed up, ripped out, damaged, whatever thread. Then you get a tap um, to run through that cuts uh, a new thread in your new hole, but it's bigger than the thread that you want. It then enables you to, um, these are the little inserts. These inserts then screw into the, that hole um, and that's what is, forms your new thread. And um, when they're done, they are actually as good as new. They've been around for years. There are other things available on the market for repairing threads. But I like the helicoil. It's been around for years, worked for years. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it sort of thing. Um, or don't change what we know works. The next thing we do is drill out our hole. Ideally, it'd be better than a drill press to get it dead square and everything, but because this is on an angle, um, I can't do that anyway. So I've just drilled through it with the bit, then take our tap, put a bit of cutting fluid on it, not that much everywhere, and um, wind it through, keeping it as square as we can. I hope you can see that you get these taps with it, but you don't get the tap wrench with the kits that is. There we go, we just, we just want to wind that through. That cuts a thread that we can then screw the helicoil into. I'm going to clamp this to the bench. And you can see I'm struggling to hold it. Make it a bit easier for myself. Without damaging the the part, of course. <laughs> Do it. There we go. I didn't even see that. I'll move the camera just in case. So basically all this does is cuts a bigger thread into the hole that you can then screw your helicoil into. That's gone it all the way through. 
We can now back it back out. There we are. Lovely. Clean all the muck out of the way. Get a car cleaner should do the job. <laughs> Looks like this is about to run out. Just make sure it's all clean, get to the inside as well. And then we take our thing, it's got a little tang on that insert. What we do, that fits on this little tool here, and then we simply screw the thread into our hole we've just cut. This will be our new and permanent thread. When you're going in, um, never come back out because that will tighten the threads up and then break the tang off. Um, so you'll have to start again. And you want to take your thread just below the surface like that. Wonderful. That should then be ready for our bolt which is there. Just then screws in. We'll screw in. <laughs> My hand's all greasy. I've got to ratchet. it. You'll have to screw it by hand with the socket when your hand's all greasy. drops it again. So that should be as good as new. What we're going to do now, I'm going to start actually going to torque this up now to the desired torque and um, it's in and I can fit this back on. Simple as that really. The desired torque in this case being 34.3 newton meters. Fifteen, this is where it stripped last time. Six, seven, twenty-eight, and if you can hear that, it beeps at you until you get to the desired torque. There we go. It's actually thirty-four point five. I've gone over a little bit, but not to worry. So that's it. Job done. Fantastic. And um, the hardest part, of course, was taking this off. And um, obviously. You don't want to be cutting a thread um, into where you into an oil pan when it's in place in case you get bits of metal inside, etc. Um, but yeah, good as new. So there we go, very short video. Um, hopefully it'll be easier for people to find just on one specific thing around to having to wade through um, a full video just to find something you want. So quick recap. So you've got your threaded strip thing. Um, in your kit you need to find one with a similar size or the same size. Um, I actually made this a little bit bigger um, just for ease but the same size so you, you get the, the drill of the right size in the kit you drill the hole through use your tap to tap the new thread for your thing to go in again it's the specific size for the hole you want and then simply screw your thread in um, and you're done basically so happy days, I hope that helps, I hope people found it helpful, if you did give us a like <laughs> and uh, we'll see you on our, our next regular video.